The difference in voices that make up a choir is almost always noticeable. Apart from the timbre, there are very slight variations of the pace and pitch of the notes. Initially, the chorus effect was developed as an imitation of a choir performing the same sound and melody. For example, the sound of several guitars with only one performer would produce a more powerful, dense sound in the real time without the need to attract additional performers or use a pre-recorded sound. The chorus is both the sound effect and the respective device. It imitates the quiet sound of musical instruments. The effect is achieved by supplementing the initial signal with its duplicate, shifted in time by 20 to 30 milliseconds, and the shift time changes all the time. The chorus effect is an example of linear signal distortion. When the signal does not acquire new frequencies and no existing frequencies are cut off, but instead the time is shifted, which is followed by certain more serious changes. Let's check out how it really works. The input signal is first of all divided into two independent signals, one of which remains unchanged, and the second one sent to the delay line. The signal is then kept on the delay line for 20 to 30 milliseconds, with the delay time changing according to the signal of the low frequency generator. At the output, the delayed signal is mixed with the initial one. The low frequency generator modulates the signal's delay time. It produces oscillations of certain form that lie within the range of 3 Hz and below. By changing the frequency, form and amplitude of the low frequency generator's oscillations, one can produce different output signals. The chorus imitation of one and the same sound or melody by repeating the signal with various delay time can barely be called a success, since even highly experienced musicians and not so professional listeners in the majority of cases would be able to tell the difference between the sound of the musical instrument subjected to the chorus effect and the synchronous sound of several such instruments. This is explained by periodic changes in the delay time that causes the linear distortion of the signal. The frequency of the output signal can increase or decrease depending on the oscillation phase of the generator, which leads to a dissonance. In some cases, the periodic nature of the delay change can be clearly heard. The discord becomes ever more obvious at the increased frequency of the low frequency generator. However, despite the fact that the original aim was never achieved, the chorus effect did manage to become rather popular due to the peculiar audio processing result. It makes the sound more saturated and voluminous and serves as a good supplement to other sound effects.